Today, let us talk about Sane's capability approach. Now, one thing you have to understand is that there is there is a, a separate reading on Sane's capability approach also in uh, our course. So we'll be doing this thing again in great detail. This is just a part of chapter one of Todaro and Smith. So we have to take it up. Right. So let's discuss what Todaro and Smith has written about it. Uh, one important thing is that economic growth is not the end in itself. This is what Sane is saying. Just because you have economic growth, uh, that is completely fine. No, that's not the case. The idea is to give more freedom to people. By development, he meant more freedoms that people should enjoy. By development, he meant that people should be able to lead the lives which they value. Right. Just because they're going to some work and they're earning some salary, that is not enough. It is, is it the life which they want, which they value? That is what Sane is asking. What he is asking is that they should be able to exercise whatever choices are available to them. And there should be many choices available to them. And they should have freedom to choose. That is what development is in Sane's understanding. So this is the first point. That don't consider economic growth as an end in itself. No, it is not. And related to this is the point of poverty also. So what he says is that don't consider poverty only in terms of income. Only in terms of resources. Just because people have less income or they have less resources, then only you consider them as poor. Yes, that is, in, that is definitely sure that if people have less income, they have less resources, it means that they are poor. But at the same time, you also have to think that what capabilities people have, right? Uh, poverty should focus on whether people have capabilities to do what they want to do. Uh, what a person can do, can be, and is he free to pursue that life? Uh, if he is, then he is not poor. Otherwise, he is poor. Now, this is what his understanding of poverty is, right? And very well so. So, he is talking about the actual abilities of people. So, are you giving them those resources? Are you giving them those freedoms that their capabilities can also emerge? Whether people can be what they want to be, if they can't be, even if they have income, but if they can't be what they want to be, this that is also a poverty. So this is what he's talking about in the related concept of poverty. Then Sane focuses on functionings. So what do you mean by functionings? So by functionings, he meant this, that what a person actually achieves. Very primary functionings could be what, for example, being well nourished. He achieves that. Being well fed, being educated. It is a functioning. It is what he achieves, right? What he does, what he becomes. So being respected in a community. There are different kinds of functioning also. So um, I mean, functioning could also be you being free from kind of a disease which is avoidable. There are many diseases which are avoidable. So if the environment is such that we are free from such avoidable diseases, or the government or state has provided such resources that we can be free from avoidable resources. That is one of the functioning, right? So that is what we what we uh, do, what we can be. Uh, now, the other point is that there are some complex functionings also. So complex function could be you take part in a community. Uh, you take part in any kind of community work, or um, or for example, self-respect. So these are also uh, complex functions. So what person actually achieves, right? Doings and beings both. Those are functions. So you can take up an example of just say, let's say, for example, you have a book. Just having a book is not enough. You should have a capability of reading that book. So just possessing that book is not enough. You need to have a capability of, of reading that book. Uh, so what matters is person's real freedoms, opportunities which are given to you. 
So just having more commodities is not enough. But what you do with those commodities, that is important. So this is what he says. He says this, that you should have a freedom. Freedom of living the life you want. Development is not just about uh, expanding resources or income. It is about expanding capabilities. What you can do with these income or resources. right? And then he says this, that even if two people have same income, then the real ability to lead a good life that is functioning is very, very different because it all depends upon the personal, social and environmental factors. I'll give you an example. Uh, so what, what Sain uh, has given as an example, one is personal heterogeneities. Between two people, if one of the person is disabled, then to achieve the same level, that particular person would need more resources. No, that is true. Resources are same, but the but the amount of the output is going to be very different. Or if you want to have the same amount of output from both people, then the person who is disabled would need more resources. So that tells you that point that even if two people have same income. The real ability to lead a good life, that is function, is going to be vastly different because it is going to be dependent upon personal, social, and environmental factors. Let's have a look at this. So let us talk about each of these. One personal heterogeneity is one example I have given. So if there is a person with disability and there is another able-bodied person, a person with, with disability will have a different um, needs. For example, they will need assistive desire, uh, devices. They will need a uh, higher amount of care. No. So even if the two people, they have same resources, even if the two people, they earn the same, the actual advantage might be lower in case of the person with a personal disability. You got the first point. Second point, environmental diversities are also there. Income is going to buy less in the harsh environment. So just imagine there are people who are living in very cold areas. No, they will be spending more on heating devices. So the same amount of income, but in different geographies, in different climates, will lead to a very different level of well-being. No, that is true. That is the second point. Third point, variations in social climate. Don't you think there are some social barriers to freedom? There are. How? Women may not be allowed to work. In many parts of our country also, sometimes women are not allowed to work. In some families, women are not allowed to work. Or there is a lot of violence in some parts. And because of that violence, schooling is prevented. I mean, we don't send our children to school there. So maybe two people have same income. But one is living in a violence-prone area. He doesn't have education. Maybe two families have same income. But one is a girl child and that family is not sending that girl child to a school or uh, family is not sending girl to work outside. So variations in social climate. No, that is a third point. Fourth point, relational perspectives. Don't you think there is some kind of social pressure also? And that social pressure is also create is going to create some kind of hidden needs. What kind of hidden needs? Maybe there is a child who is bullied at school. Why is he bullied? Because he's having a very simple kind of shoes. He needs a branded shoes just to have, just to have no bully, just to avoid bullying at school. So income it must also cover these socially imposed 
uh, requirements not just your basic in, basic needs uh, in life you got this point then distribution within the family this we have seen many times sometimes even within even within a healthy house even within a wealthy household a girl child may get less food may also get less education this this may happen so household income actually doesn't reflect um how how uh, individual well being is going to be shown by this so if you say okay my household has huge income fine but every individual of the of the household is enjoying that kind of freedom is every individual in the household um, has the same level of well being not sure that is the fifth element right so it is all all of this is telling you do not focus only on income focus on the freedoms which that income is going to provide uh, focus on what kind of capability person can choose what he can become that is development and this is the entire topic of the chapter 1 of today arun sir we said na you remember the last class in which we said traditional view was only for economic growth but then the modern view came where we said that economic growth is not sufficient we need to have focus on health education etc all that so sane has taken this one step ahead so i'm going to stop here and we'll take our discussion further in the next class and we will be doing the sains capability approach let me remind you again in detail when this particular reading is going to go thank you for that